Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to say I can do something or he can do something. So basically the potential form. In English it's just can or to be able to. There are two ways to make this potential form. One is to put the plain form of the verb and then put koto ga dekiru. So for example, if I want to say I can eat, I could say taberu koto ga dekiru. And if you want to make this formal, you change the last dekiru into dekimas and that's it. But this is not the most common one. You might hear this in the news or kind of formal situations. But there is actually more common one that we use as can. Anyway, if you break down this koto ga dekiru, dekiru at the end means can do. But it could also mean to be done or to get completed. And koto could be translated as thing or matter or event. But like I explained in the previous video, if you say Kawaii koto, then it's scary thing to do. So it's not like scary object. And also, if you put this koto after the verb, it's kind of the same as verb and the no particle. If I say taberu no ga suki, then that means I like to eat or I like eating. So it's kind of like in English, you put this ing at the end. To make it like a noun, so like eating is my passion, or I like eating. You can't just say I like eat or I like I eat, right? It's the same in Japanese. You have to help the verb with this no particle to connect with other particles like ga or wa or o. And instead of taberu no ga suki, you could also say taberu koto ga suki. Taberu koto ga suki desu. But this is not as common as taberu no ga suki. So this verb koto ga dekiru is kind of similar to the English to be able to do something. It's like you can't just say I'm able I eat or I'm able eat. Right? You have to say I'm able to eat. In Japanese, we have to say plain form koto ga dekiru, not plain form ga dekiru. And like I said, this plain form koto ga dekiru is kind of not so common and mainly used in the formal speech. You probably would hear like plain form koto ga dekimasu in the mass form more than just koto ga dekiru. Now, let's learn how we actually more commonly say can in Japanese. I'm gonna warn you first, this is gonna be like a tongue twister. For the iru er ending verbs like taberu, miru, neru, you have to change the last ru into ra re ru. Ra re ru. So taberu becomes taberare ru. Taberareru. Since this rareru has an er ending, if you want to make this formal, you have to get rid of the last ru of this rareru and change ru into mas. So you want to say taberaremas for the formal speech. So I can eat informally, you say taberareru. Taberareru. Formally, you say taberaremas. And if you want to say I cannot eat informally, you want to change this rareru into its informal negation. So, do you remember how we change taberu into not eat? So, you change the last ru into just nai, right? Taberu became tabe nai for not eat. So, if you want to say cannot, then you change this rareru into rare nai. Rare nai. So the whole thing I cannot eat, you first want to 
put the stem of taberu, tabe, and then put ra re na i. Tabe ra re nai. Tabe ra re nai. And if you want to say I couldn't eat informally, right? You want to change this nai into nakata. Nakata. Remember, if you want to say I didn't eat, you said tabe nakata. Right, because nai acts like an e adjective, so you want to change e into kata for the past tense. So, ra re na kata is for couldn't for the e red ending verbs. Tabe ra re na kata. So, so far we have tabe ra re ru, tabe ra re nai, tabe ra re na kata. And we want to make the past tense I could eat, I was able to eat. Then you want to make the te form of rare ru, which is rare te, right? And then change te into ta, so rare ta, so tabe rare ta. I would suggest you to write this down now. For the ira ending verbs, potential form for the informal speech, it becomes rare ru, rare nai, rare nakata. Rareta. Now, if you want to say this all formally, you want to change the taberareru into its mas form, which is taberaremas, right? Taberaremas. And then you just change the mas into masen for negation, so you get taberaremasen. Taberaremasen. And then the past negative couldn't eat would be. Taberaremasen and then deshita. Taberaremasen deshita. And I could eat the past tense. Taberaremashita. Taberaremashita. So, taberaremas. Taberaremasen. Taberaremashita. Taberaremasen deshita. Or you're thinking this is quite hard. And don't worry because Japanese people actually make mistakes when they use this potential form. So since this ra re 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 sounds too much to even Japanese people, tabe ra re re, right? We omit this ra in the middle and say tabe re re when speaking informally. Tabe re re. This is called ra nuki kotoba. Ra is the ra and nuki is like without or nuki means to pull, so it's kind of like pulling out. Ta-ra. So ra nuki and then kotoba is the language or word. This is considered to be wrong if you're writing an essay or have to write an answer in the exam. Uh, but people do speak like this in the informal speech. But of course, you don't have to. So, for example, do you remember tabete iru becomes tabeteru in the informal speech? I personally always say tabeteru when speaking informally because tabete iru sounds a bit strange. And most people, like 90% of the people, say tabeteru instead of tabete iru. But this ranuki without ra, it's kind of your choice. So, I would personally say taberareru. Of course, I can say taberere when I'm talking to my friends, but it's not weird if I say taberareru. It's not like I'm being extra formal or anything. So I would recommend you to do the same because especially if you're gonna take like the JLPT, you don't want to mess it up. It's up to you. Anyway, let's try with other verbs. So miru, to see, if you want to say I can watch. I can look. You want to change the last ru into rareru. So, mire becomes mirareru. Mirareru. And the mas form is miraremas. Miraremas. And this means can watch or can see. But there is another way to say I can see, which is mieru. Mieru. 
But there is, of course, a difference between mirare and miere. Miere is more like visible. So, for example, I'm talking to you on Skype and maybe the connection is not great and I'm not sure if you can see me. I'd say miere. Can you see me? Miere, like, am I visible to you? Here, I wouldn't say mirare. Mirare is more about do you get to see me or do you have a chance to see me? So another example, mega warui, and I can't see. I'd say mienai, not mirarenai. Because mirarenai sounds like I don't have a chance or an opportunity to see. So either because your eyesight's are bad, maybe because there is fog, or it's just too far away, you'd say mienai. But for example, you can't see a movie because there is no cinema in your town. You'd say mirarenai. Eiga ga mirarenai. Eiga ga mirarenai. By the way, we normally use the ga particle when we use this potential form instead of the o particle. So I could say, Eiga kan ga nai. There is no cinema. Eiga kan ga nai kara. Because of that, Eiga kan ga nai kara. Eiga ga mirarenai. So it's not really because of my eyesight or because there is fog. It's not really about visibility, but rather it's more about I don't get to see. Again, you want to watch this film, but your parents don't let you. Then it's not because of your eyesight, right? But rather because you don't have a chance because of your parents. You say, mirarenai. For example, oya ga kibishi kara Tarantino kantoku no eiga ga mirarenai. Or sometimes a movie or show would have age restriction. If you're under 12, you can't see it. You'd again use this mirarenai. And another example, someone says, mite, 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 but nothing is visible to me. I'd say, mienai. Nani mo mienai. I don't see anything. In English, you either say, I don't see anything, or I can't see anything. In Japanese, if you say, nani mo minai, it sounds like I choose not to see it. So it's like, I will not see it, or I don't see it because I'm not going to. So if you want to say, I don't see it, as in I can't see it, you'd say, mienai. Anyway, miru becomes mirareru. And the mass form of mirareru is mirarenas, right? What about to sleep? Neru. If you want to say I can sleep, then you change neru into nerareru, nerareru. And the mass form is neraremas, neraremas. If you want to say I can't sleep, then Informally, you want to change nerareru into nerarenai, nerarenai. Again, a lot of people might say nerenai, getting rid of the ra, nerenai. But again, you can say nerarenai. If you have an insomnia, for me sure, you'd say nerarenai. And formally, you say nerarenai. Neraremasen. About to wake up. Okiru becomes Okirareru. Okirareru. And the mass form. Okiraremas. Okiraremas. So if you want to say, I cannot get up, I cannot wake up, then informally, Okirarenai. Okirarenai. And formally, Okiraremasen. Okiraremasen. So if you want to say, I can't wake up early in the morning. You want to say, morning, early, cannot wake up. So, asa, hayaku, okirarenai. Asa, hayaku, okirarenai. And formally, asa, hayaku, okirarenai. Asa, hayaku, okirarenai. It was really hard for me to wake up early when I was a student. I once said I couldn't wake up early in the morning when I was a student. So if I want to say when I was a student, 
I don't know if you remember how we said when I was a child. We say now no toki. So when I was a child, we said kodomo no toki. When I was a student, we say gakuse no toki. Gakuse no toki. And couldn't wake up. You want to make the past negative form of o kirareru. So you want to first make the negation of o kirareru, which is o kirarenai. O kirarenai. And change nai into nakatta. So o kirare nakatta. O kirare nakatta. So I can say gakuse no toki. Early in the morning, asa hayaku, couldn't wake up. Okirare nakatta. Gakuse no toki, asa hayaku, okirare nakatta. And formally, you want to make the mas form and change mas into masen deshita. So you say, okirare masen deshita. Okirare masen deshita. So the whole sentence. 学生の時朝早く起きられませんでした What about to open? 開ける becomes 開けられる開けられる And you want to say cannot open then 開けられない開けられない So if you can't open the bottle you say 開けられない Or the same as the door Alright, now let's try the other endings. So, for the ira ending verbs, you change the ru into rareru. For other endings, you change the last u sound into eru. eru. So, for example, the right kaku becomes kakeru. kakeru. So if you want to say I can write, you say kakeru. And the mass form of kakeru, again this still has the eru ending like rareru. You change the last ru into mas. So kakeru becomes kakemas. Kakemas. So for the other ending verbs, informally you change the u into eru. Formally, you change the last u into emas, emas. So if I want to say, I can't write hiragana, then I say hiragana ga kakeru. Hiragana ga kakeru. So I briefly said that we use this ga particle instead of o. Yeah, and that's what you have to remember. When using this potential form, we normally change the O particle into the GA particle. So normally you say object O verb like Bingo o taberu, eiga o miru, tegami o kaku, right? But if you want to use this I can do something, you say something GA and then this potential form. It's actually not wrong to use the O particle. So if I say Ringo o taberareru, it's not wrong. But if you want to sound natural, you'd say Ringo ga taberareru. Ringo ga taberareru. So for most of the time, the construction would look like someone wa. Of course, you're talking about yourself. We normally omit the watashi wa, but if you're talking about someone else, Someone, wa, something, ga, and then the potential form. Not always, but this is the basic construction. So, back to kakeru. So again, if you want to say, I can write hiragana, you say, hiragana ga kakeru. And then formally, hiragana ga kakemasu. But if you want to say, I can't write kanji, then you want to change kakeru into Kakenai. Kakenai. So informally you'd say kanji ga kakenai. Kanji ga kakenai. And formally you want to change kakeru into its mass form. Kakemasu. And change mas into masen. So 
漢字が書けません。漢字が書けません。What about to speak? 話す。You want to change the s into l sound, so 話す becomes 話せる。話せる。And the most form of 話せる is 話せます。話せます。So, I can speak could be Hanaseru and Hanasemasu. So, in English, you normally say, Do you speak English? Or do you speak Japanese? Or I don't speak Japanese, right? But in Japanese, unless it's your native language, we normally say, Can you speak English? Can you speak Japanese? I can't speak Japanese. So, if you say, Nihongo Hanashimasu. Then it does mean I speak Japanese, but it's not really about your ability, but rather it's more about what you do. So it's like, on Saturday I speak Japanese. Then you'd say the sentence, Nihongo o hanashimasu. Or Nihongo o hanasu. Or if you speak Japanese with your friends, you say, Tomodachi to Nihongo o hanashimasu. But when you want to make sure if the listener knows Japanese or if you want to say that I've learned English and I speak it, then I have to say, Hanaseru or Hanasemasu. So I can speak English. We say, Eigo ga Hanaseru or Eigo ga Hanasemasu. So the same as I can speak Japanese, you'd say, Nihongo ga Hanaseru. Nihongo ga hanaseru. And formally, Nihongo ga hanasemasu. Nihongo ga hanasemasu. Maybe if you are in Japan, someone might ask you, Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? So the translation could be, Do you speak Japanese? But it's actually more like, Can you? Like, do you have an ability to speak Japanese? Next time, when you want to show how many languages you can speak, like I can speak Japanese and English, you want to say, Eigo to Nihongo ga hanaseru, or Eigo to Nihongo ga hanasemasu, no Eigo to Nihongo o hanashimasu. And obviously, here watching this video, you can speak some Japanese. But if you want to say, I don't speak Japanese, I can't speak Japanese, then you say, Nihongo ga hanasenai. Nihongo ga hanasenai. Or, Nihongo ga hanasemasen. Nihongo ga hanasemasen. But if you want to say, I can't speak Japanese very well yet, then you can say, Mada jōzu ni. Nihongo ga hanasenai. Mada jōzu ni nihongo ga hanasenai. Or formally, Mada jōzu ni nihongo ga hanasemasen. So this Mada means yet, but this jōzu ni comes from the na adjective jōzu na, which I made a video about. It means well or to be good at, to be skilled at. So if you say Nihongo ga jōzu, then it's like, your Japanese is good, or you're good at Japanese. But you can also change this jōzu na into jōzu ni. If you change the na into ni, then that's an adverb. So it means well, skillfully. So again, adverb is meant to be used with a verb, right? So you use the verb hanasu or hanaseru in this case. So you want to use jōzu ni, not jōzu na. Okay, what about to go? Iku becomes Ikeru, Ikeru, and the mass form Ikemas, Ikemas. So if you want to say I can go to Japan alone on my own, then you want to add the word on my own or alone, which is Hitori de, Hitori de, and then to Japan. Although I said you change the O particle into the GA particle, you don't want to mess with this NI particle. You just say somewhere NI in the potential form. So it's still Nihon NI to Japan. And can go Ikeru, Ikeru, or formally Ikemasu. 
So the whole sentence, I can go to Japan alone. It'd be, Hitori de Nihon ni ikeru. Or formally, Hitori de Nihon ni ikemasu. And if you want to change this into the past tense, so I was able to go to Japan alone, you'd say, Hitori de Nihon ni iketa. Iketa. You change ru into ta, right? So, iketa. And the mass form, ikemashita, ikemashita. What about the verb to listen? Kiku, kiku. So you change kiku into kikeru, kikeru. And the mass form, kikemas, kikemas. So kikeru means can listen or can hear, but just like the Mirareru can watch or more like has a chance to watch and mi eru can see or visible. We have another word that can mean can hear. Kikeru and kikoeru. Kikoeru. You might use this kikoeru more if you just mean can you hear me? Again, if you're talking to someone on Skype. And the connection is not great. You want to say, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You say, kiko eru? Kiko eru? O kiko e ka? Kiko e ka? So when something is audible, can you hear me? We say, kiko eru. So if you can hear some noise from the neighbors or someone talking, then you say, kiko eru. Like you say, kono apato wa? 外の音が聞こえる。外の音が聞こえる. I can hear the outside noise. But the other one, kikeru, the potential form of kiku, means more like get to listen. So for example, someone recommends a song and you want to find it on the web and you search for it, you search for it, can't find it, but finally you find it and then finally you can listen to it. You say, Yatto kikeru, yatto kikeru. Finally, I can listen to it. If you want to make it in the past tense, you say yatto kiketa. I finally got to listen to it. Yeah, so kikeru doesn't mean can listen, but if you mean can hear or cannot hear because the volume is too low or because someone is too loud, you'd say kikoeru or kikoemas. They do sound similar, but you have to remember both of them. I'd say kikoeru and kikoenai are more common to use than kikeru. What about the verb to buy? Kau. So you want to change u into eru, right? So kau becomes kaeru, kaeru. So that means can buy. And the must form, kaemasu. Kaemasu. So if you want to say, I can buy a new computer, you say, Atarashi pasokon ga kaeru. Atarashi pasokon ga kaeru. And if you want to say this formally, you say, Atarashi pasokon ga kaemasu. Atarashi pasokon ga kaemasu. I was actually able to buy a new computer thanks to patrons. So I would just want to say, Patreon no okagede. No okagede means thanks to. So patrons no okagede. Atarashi pasokon ga. And you want to say, was able to the past tense. Kaeta. Kaeta. And formally, patrons no okagede. Atarashi pasokon ga kaemashita. Okay, what about the verb to drink? Nomu. Nomu. So, can drink? Nomeru. Nomeru. And the must form? Nomemasu. Nomemasu. So, if you want to say adults can drink alcohol, then you know how we say adults? Otona. Otona. So, otona wa, and then alcohol, osake ga, and then can drink. Nomeru. 
大人はお酒が飲める。大人はお酒が飲めます。I personally can't handle alcohol. I'm probably allergic or something, but I can't drink alcohol.、Uh, so I'd say, お酒が飲めない。お酒が飲めない。And formally, if I say I can't drink, then お酒が飲めません。お酒が飲めません。By the way, in English, You say all you can drink or all you can eat. So you might think the way we translate that would be like nomeru or taberareru, but it's actually quite a different word. All you can eat, we say tabe hodai. Tabe hodai. Hodai is like as much as you want. And nomi hodai, or all you can drink. Nomi hodai. So, for example, let's go to、um, all you can eat restaurant. You'd say, Tabe ho dai no restaurant ni iko. Tabe ho dai no restaurant ni iko. What about can you wait? Matsu becomes, can you guess? It's not se, but ma te ru. Ma te ru. Yes,、yeah, so、tsu, people get confused with tsu endings. Like、the negation it becomes ta, right? Like ma ta nai, and the mas form is ma chi mas, and the let's wait, let's form ma to. And this potential form can wait, we say ma te ru, ma te ru. So the mas form of ma te ru is ma te mas, ma te mas. If you want to say, I can't wait. Then, ma te ru becomes ma te nai, ma te nai, and the mas form, ma te masen, ma te masen. If you want to say, I can't wait anymore, you'd say, mo ma te nai, mo ma te nai. Okay, what about to hang out? Asobu, you want to change u into eru, so, asoberu, asoberu. In English, you often say, Are you free? You want to hang out? In Japanese, we could say, Asobitai, do you want to hang out? But we often say, Can you hang out? Like, do you have time to hang out with me? And say, Asoberu. So, like, Ashita asoberu or Raishu asoberu. That's how I would text my friends. And if you want to say this formally, you say, Asobemasuka. Asobe masuka. If you want to say,、uh, next week I can't hang out, then you'd say, Raishu wa asobe nai. Raishu wa asobe nai. Alright, finally, the irregular verbs. So, suru to do becomes dekiru. Completely different, but that's why it's irregular. Dekiru. So, when you want to say, I play tennis, We use this verb suru, right? So we said tennis o suru. If you want to say I can play tennis, then you say tennis ga dekiru. Tennis ga dekiru. And do you remember how we said to cook? You could use the word tsukuru to make, but there is also another one. Ryori suru. Ryori suru. If you want to say I can cook, then ryori dekiru. Ryori dekiru. To practice, then shu suru. If you want to say can practice, then shu dekiru. Then shu dekiru. And now the verb to come, kuru, becomes korareru. Korareru. So korare mas is formally can come. Do you remember how we say to bring? Motte kuru. So, if you want to say, I can bring them, Motte korareru. Motte korareru. Anyway, if you want to say, Can you come tomorrow? You say, Ashita korareru. Ashita korareru. And formally, Ashita korareru. Ashita korareru. And we have exceptions. Verbs that have iru eru endings, but act like other endings. So, the famous one is to go home, to return. Kaeru, kaeru, k 
kaeru always changes like other ending, right? So the mass form of kaeru was kae ri mas. Normally, er ending has to become ru into mas, but this one you change ru into ri mas, kae ri mas. So the same thing happens for this can form. If you want to say can go home, you don't just change the last ru into ra re ru, but you have to change the u into eru. So kaeru becomes kaereru, kaereru. You can't say kaerareru. It's just kaereru. So the mass form of kaereru is kaeremas, kaeremas. Another one is to enter, to get in. Hairu becomes hairu, hairu. So if you want to say this formally, you say hairemas. Another one is to cut. So to cut, we say kiru, kiru. If you recognize kiru, uh, it can also have another meaning. That can also mean to wear, like jacket or kiru, but they are different kanjis and the conjugation is different. To wear kiru conjugates normally, like the other ire endings, like kimas, kirareru, but to cut, you want to say to cut in the mass form, you say kirimas, kirimas. And the can form of can cut, you say kireru, kireru. The mass form is kiremas. You want to say that stylist can cut so well, you'd say ano biyoshi wa jōzu ni kireru. Ano biyoshi wa jōzu ni kireru. And another one, to run, we say hashiru, hashiru. And the mass form of hashiru is not hashimas, but hashirimas, hashirimas. So the count form hashiru becomes hashireru, hashireru. And the mass form is hashiremas, hashiremas. If you want to, for example, say, I can run a 10k, you say, 10kiro hashireru. 10kiro hashireru. And formally, 10kiro hashiremasu. 10kiro hashiremasu. All right, I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And as always, if you do have time, please check out my Patreon page to support me. Alright, ciao, matane, bye bye.